get started, I have two shout outs. Chad O. Okay. Chad O. Big shout out to you, my friend. And Anthony George's fishing adventure. Now, Anthony's been with me for a long time. Been a very dedicated viewer. So Anthony George's fishing adventure and Chad O. Big shout out to you. And a big shout out to the rest of you people as well for being such awesome, amazing viewers, okay? So, Angry Whopper. Now, I saw this advertised. And I didn't know why they called it an Angry Whopper. Put that over there. I kind of thought it probably had some heat to it, you know? Probably had, uh, you know, uh, maybe some hot sauce, but it's got some fried onions on there. It's got some fried onions and tomato, lettuce, and everything. Bacon. It should have some jalapeno peppers, we'll see. Well, one fell out, there it is. Onions they put on are really good. The Burger King I go to is not very far away. So the food's still nice and hot. There's definitely some jalapeno peppers on there. Yeah. Now, I guess they wanted a good name for this angry whopper because of the heat. It's very catchy. There's a very popular chicken place that has a regular chicken burger or a, like a, a southwest, you know, chicken burger with some heat to it. And they just put like a, a hot sauce on there. And it's quite hot, but I prefer the jalapeno peppers. Just take like a regular chicken burger instead of 
putting the regular sauce on it, put on their hot sauce, and that's it. Had a piece of bacon hanging out there. used to say that I, I wipe my face too much, but I had one video where I had a bunch of mayonnaise hanging on the side of my face. How embarrassing is that? Now yesterday was a pivotal day with our weather. It's really starting to feel like spring. Yesterday was the first day where the weather just changed. I heard it was coming, you know, on the, on the forecast, but um, it finally got here, and what a difference. Some beautiful weather. We have beautiful days in January where it's bright and sunny but still quite cold. These crispy onions are really nice. Nice touch. I'm getting ready to build Linda some raised flower beds. down. I probably mentioned my last video. And then tonight went and picked up some landscaping ties. Wow, my mouth is on fire. Excuse me. This has just the right amount of heat. So when I have my uh, my landscape ties, one on top of each other like that, the bolt will be countersunk and it'll bite into the bottom one by about, about an inch and a half. And I pre-drill the holes on top for the first one.
I'm not sure me jalapenos we put on there, but uh, it, it's just it gives you the right consistency of heat. It's enough to make my nose run. doesn't like to do stuff like that. So he asked me if I wouldn't mind just, like I said, picking him up and doing something for a couple of hours. But I, I didn't mind. Gave us a chance to hang out. After breakfast, he wanted to go to the bank. So I drove him to the bank. He deals with the same bank that Linda and I do. And then across the street,
there's two different ferries. One goes to one island, which is uh, a marine park with camping and all that. And then there's another ferry which goes to this other island, which is um, uh, inhabited at some residential island, but there's a, a pub called the Dingy Dog Pub. It was Canada's first and only, I think, floating pub. It may not be the only one now, but it was the first one at the time when it opened, about 1990, I think, or 89, maybe. They're very good food. I, um, I did a video on that island. It's called Protection Island and the Dingy Dog Pub when I made my pirate video about bathtub racing and all that. I'll try and remember to put a link below. But, uh, anyways, the ferry sleep from downtown. Then there's the big ferry that goes to Gabriola. Gabriola's a, a bigger island. We have two ferry terminals that go to the mainland, to Vancouver. Those ferries, they carry hundreds of cars, literally hundreds of cars. It's like being on a small cruise ship type thing. And we have two ferry terminals that do that.
you know it's funny you buy this this dress hundreds and hundreds of dollars and I don't mind because I it's my daughter's special day I want her to look good and I want her to have the dress she wants but they charge about and I'm not kidding it's something like 450 to 500 dollars to alter it like to make alterations man I'm in the wrong business holy cow good grief I'll just have one apple pie and save the other one for later see my dog for a walk this morning. We even went a little bit further than normal. And she never once had to sit down and rest. She never once, her legs never once locked up. And I always bring the baby stroller with me. And she never once had to ride in the stroller at all. So that was good. She has good days and bad days. You know, she did good this morning, but by this evening she might, uh, might only make it halfway, you know, so. That's why I bring the baby stores so I don't get stranded. Now what the neighbors told me, why don't you just bring your cell phone? If you get stuck, Linda can come pick you up. Well, that's true, but a lot of times Linda has the grandkids like she does today. She's babysitting. That's not fair to load her grandkids up. And, you know, go, go pick me up a few blocks away. Just as easy to take the baby stroller. I get a lot of weird looks. People give me weirder looks when the dog's walking beside me and I'm pushing the baby stroller and it's empty. They, I don't know if they think I'm using it as a walker or if they, why is this guy pushing an empty baby stroller? But when Mars is in the stroller, I think then they can think, well, obviously that's why he has it. Uh, 
It's funny because I took her out for her birthday, February the 8th. And uh, her birthday's on the 9th. I took her out February the 8th for some Greek food. And she was saying that they'd waited too long to plan the wedding. Because by the time you, you know, get a caterer, a photographer, and you got to rent this and find a place and blah, 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 you know. But I guess she kind of got thinking about it. So I said, oh, it's too bad, you know. And, uh, she said to do it next year, but I thought, okay, what's well, too bad? But then I guess I must have put a bug in her ear when she got home. She decided that, you know, they'd like to do it this year, so they got busy. Our mom helped her, was helping her a lot. My ex is very excited about her. You know, one of the reasons I wanted Brianna, my daughter, to have a, the wedding dress she wanted, was because when my, when I got married, when my ex and I got married, my, my ex was looking at wedding dresses and, and she just happened to mention my mom, like my mom asked her how that was going, she says, well, you know, I, I found one I really like, but, oh, I just can't afford it, but it's so beautiful. And my mom, being my mom, says, well, I want to go look at it. And so they, they went and looked at it together. My mom said, okay, if you want it, then, then you buy it and I'll pay for it. So my mom paid for the wedding dress because she just wanted her to look, you know, it's her special wedding day, right? She wanted her to look as good as she could. I want the same for my daughter. So my mom has been very kind that way. Well, I have to admit, my friends, I would definitely recommend the Angry Whopper from Burger King because it's, it's very good. You know, only if you like a little bit of heat. If you don't like heat, better stay away from it. Because um, I figure there's probably maybe about, I don't know, maybe five or six jalapenos in there. You know, and I could uh, I could certainly feel the heat, but uh, they weren't real intense. I remember when I was in Mexico, I would have an omelet every morning, and there's these hot peppers that always ask you, okay, the hot peppers. <coughs> Excuse me. I say, oh yeah, I'm okay with hot peppers. Um, and they'd, um, they'd just load them on, and I was sitting in the dining room. My gosh. I thought I was going to, I was gasping at one point. <gasps> I thought I was going to suffocate. It was so hot. It was like, my gosh. I actually kind of stood up, and then I then all of a sudden it passed, but it was like, my gosh. I, th I thought I was going to, like, just choke or something because it was so intense. I've never experienced that with a hot pepper before. Mind you, it was Mexico, so... I'm sure they eat them there like candy, but, and I would too once I got used to it because I love hot peppers. When I go to Subway, it's the same thing. They always say, do you like hot peppers? Oh yeah, load it up, just load it up, man. But I guess I kind of met my, met my match that day because that, whatever peppers they put on there was like, wow, really intense, but very good. Okay, my friends, there it is. Now, shout outs, you want shout outs? Hit me up anytime, I'll give you a shout out. Be prepared to wait, probably. You know, a week, 10 days, two weeks. I've been recording my videos ahead of time, as always. I started doing that well, well over a year ago. Also, uh, when my when my dog was sick, I, I kind of slowed down the videos because I was kind of busy there. And so I'm trying to make up for it, so I'll probably be slamming a few more videos or a few extra ones. And uh, I got an Easter video coming up. So anyways, I'll put on my bunny ears. I'll don my bunny ears once again, like I did last year. <laughs> 